ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் இந்தியாலேயே வந்து இந்த ஹிந்து பேப்பர் வந்து மியூசிக்குக்காக ரொம்ப வந்து பரிசிரமம் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க ஒவ்வொரு ஃப்ரைடேயும் அதை பற்றின ரிவ்யூஸ் எல்லாம் வந்திருக்கு அதனுடைய சிகரம் மாதிரி நவம்பர் ஃபஸ்ட் அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி ஃப்ரைடே ரிவ்யூ நவம்பர் ஃபஸ்ட்டும் சீக்கிரம் இதில் உலகத்தில் உள்ள பல இடங்கள்லேருந்து பல ஆர்டிஸ்ட்டை இங்கே கொண்டு வந்து பர்ஃபார்ம் பண்ணுறதுங்கிறது ஒரு லேசப்பட்ட காரியம் இல்லை அந்த இந்த நிர்வாகத்துக்கு இதனுடைய மனமாக வாழ்த்துக்கள் இன்னும் மேலும் மேலும் இந்த பணி தொடரணும்னு நாம் எல்லாம் வல்ல ஆண்டவனை வேண்டி கொடுக்குறேன் நமஸ்கார் Basically, uh, when you say Hindu, it's the cultural phase of uh, Indian population or Indian phase. Every uh, Indian, every uh, South Indian is very proud of uh, the respect of Hindu for its uh, support of culture. And Hindu also, in fact, stands for innovation. As an artist, I would say, Uh, we would like to have I mean, personally every artist would like to have the right projection right uh, mass you to play and uh, the good audience so that's the motivation for every artist and every bit of the uh, support that is given to the artist uh, as far as this festival is concerned is fantastic and uh, we have been provided time for the uh, you know, current rehearsals we have been got the best uh, venues the sound system and um, we have taken care of in uh, any way to bring out to motivate us and to bring out the best out of us as an artist um, i get the great opportunity of traveling around the world and participating in different festivals and i'm so proud to say that the hindu uh, newspaper friday review festival uh, is on par with any of the world class musical events held in our own very own india south india and i'm so happy to be part of it as well this time in hyderabad where i'm performing along with uh, my danish musician friends this festival is known for its diversity and brings such variety acts uh, together in one roof so we have from classical jazz to very asian to very traditional uh, jazz and classic western classical music as well as the indian classical music and tomorrow i have the other wonderful opportunity of performing with pandit jasrat ji and uh, um, i should only commend the hindu for bringing us all together hi good evening my name is uh, saru kumen i'm with the unwind center and i'm here to introduce the band yoshiba yoshiba and band they're from hamburg and they brought here by the hamburg ministry of culture and the unwind center we are very grateful and really excited that the hindu has selected the band to be here at the launch itself and this band pro is will be performing a uh, light jazz with a little bit of interpretations of their own jazz standards which makes it accessible to any kind of audience and yoshiba has this amazing voice very velvety very connecting and she has this great personality on stage which able to connect with the audiences so we're looking forward to a very good concert and all the artists are on board that is uh, bogi brone on the piano uh, derek shersa who is on the drums uh, we have an gaise who is on the bass Johannes Henry who sings on the guitar and Yoshiba sings and plays acoustic guitar they are they are all talented musicians as in they they teach at the university of hamburg of uh, the music and theater and the hamburg music school so they are all extremely professional musicians who have come along for this tour they play today and tomorrow they are doing a workshop at unwind in in kwaimatur they are in bangalore then they finish off at hyderabad so thank you this is the presenting yoshiba the jazz band from hamburg I think it's very well organized. Uh, a lot of planning and uh, thought, detail in going into organizing it. Plus, I think it's a very good idea that they're promoting artists to a wider audience and also newer and more eclectic types of music. Very enjoyable. I look forward to an enjoyable evening. It's a big, big pleasure for us to be here, and we are looking so much forward to play on the festival in Hyderabad with. Uh, New Jungle Orchestra from Denmark together with Nasa Sagasukramanya. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a pleasure for us to be here in Chennai and uh, the opening of the music festival. To, for us to come here is a, it's a, it's a long uh, story because way back in uh, '64 I heard 
Ravi Shankar in Copenhagen, and he was really telling the world about Indian music. I'm aware of that here in, in Chennai, this is the center of the Carnatic music, but it's very important that uh, people here are open to the world music, to, to the fusion of music from many places all over the world. I think that's uh, the future of uh, understanding between cultures in the world, and it's a way to make peace in this uh, sometimes uh, difficult world we live in. We are very excited really? about, about the November Fest, as, uh, as usual, as every year, because uh, it's uh, yeah the highlight of the year. So uh, music, okay. apart from the concert, we are organizing sometimes. Yeah. Okay, how about you, madam? Yeah, I love it to come here. It's always very exciting and always good music, good food, nice people. So I really like it. Um, I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the Hindu. This is uh, the eighth annual. November Fest, and I dare say that over the years, thanks to the efforts of Mukund and the entire team. Last year we completed the Saptaswara, or the seventh edition of the November Festival. So as we embark today on the eighth edition, it is for us, in musical terms, a new beginning. And for us, also an opportunity to renew an unwritten contract that we in the Hindu have with you that we will bring to you as many forms of music from as many parts of the world to keep you engaged, entertained, and happy. The November Fest has always been a platform for contrasts of styles, of genres, and so on. And I think nothing reflects this better than, than two very diverse concepts in our lineup. The first, our opening concert by Pandit Jasraj, who we are very, very honored to have here with us today. Please give him a big hand. And, this, and another by Agam, which is a really young group from Bangalore, who describe what they do as, as Carnatic rock. Uh, and they're all manner of contrasts here. I mean, Pandit Jasraj is a legendary figure. Agam, who actually were totally surprised when they were invited, are on their way to, I think, becoming well-known. One has made his reputation on the bedrock of Hindustani classical music, the other promises to rock the raga. Um, and I learned they really blew audiences away when they performed in Kochi a few days ago. We're only in India for a few hours, but I really enjoyed it so far. 